So, still hurt? Um, it throbs just a little. Yeah. Any luck remembering how it happened? No. And it's, uh, it's scaring me a little bit, actually. I'm doing things in my sleep that I don't remember. Don't you worry about it. We're going to figure this out, okay? I'm not going to let anything bad happen. Hey, sorry to interrupt you guys. How you doing? Um, have either one of you seen John? No, sorry. Everything all right? Well, I, uh, we're supposed to be having dinner with one of my professors from Stanford, my mentor, actually, and John is... Well, I guess he's just a little bit late. Well, I'm sure he'll be here. Professor Nolan automatically flunks anyone who's late, and he'll be here any minute, so... I'll leave you guys alone. I'll just try to call him again. Right, see you later. John, where are you? You're right, it's luck. Help! Can anybody hear us? We're locked in here. This room is like a vault. That door's been reinforced. No one can hear you. Great. It is great, because I have a meeting I need to get to. Well, look, I mean, trust me, I don't want to be trapped in here with you as much as you don't want to be trapped in here with me. Why don't you just uh, call someone and have them come get us, you know? I would do that, of course, if my phone wasn't sitting on my desk upstairs. How about you? Mine, too. This isn't working, you know? Natalie. You've been accused of embezzling? They say it appears that I moved $85,000 from the university's accounts to the banners. Why, there must be some mistake. He would never do such a thing. Besides which, you don't need the money. But they say they have a check with my signature on it. I mean, it's impossible. I don't understand how this could have happened. I have to tell you something. Asa, where are you going? Oh, BP business. Another emergency board meeting? I'm in a hurry. Just so you know, I made a few calls, and there was no meeting the other night. I'm betting there's none today, either. Private meeting. Insiders only. Okay, listen. Just... I think that you got a tip on Blair. And you took off to follow it. Am I right? That's ridiculous. What are you two doing here? Kevin told us about your mysterious disappearance. Did you find my mom? Are you bringing her home? The patient's probably going to be here for the rest of her life. The best we can do is to make her comfortable. Poor thing. Her father's going to be devastated. No, he's not my father. He's, a, he's Asa Buchanan, and he hates me. And really. Best to calm her down. I'd like to avoid sedation, and it's absolutely necessary. Try to relax, honey. Look, you've been through a terrible, terrible ordeal. I'm very sorry about the death of your fiancé. We're going to take good care of you here. Are you a mother? Then you have to understand. Please. Please. Just let me get back to my children. I'll see what I can do. You said you came here to apologize. I sincerely hope it's for all those horrible things you said about my brother. 
Believe it or not, I did come to apologize. Because Adriana would like me to end the feud between us, and I'd like very much to make that happen. Oh, Dorian, so would I. Well, good. But first, in the interest of detente, I have to tell you something. Um, can you hang on one second, please? I'm sorry. Hello. Oh, Bo, hi. The university contacted you about the mix-up? Oh, thank you, Bo. I know you have a lot on your plate right now. Yes, he should be finding Blair. Look, I'm sure it is just a simple misunderstanding, okay? I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. That's, that's wonderful. Bo is going to take care of it for me. I see. Of course, he didn't think for even a moment that you might be guilty. Dorian, you said yourself it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> yes, naturally, the police are just going to take your word for it. Well, come on. Bo has known me for ages. He's going to give me the benefit of the doubt. Right, 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 right. He's going to, uh, of course, get the posse together. They're going to jump on their horses with their guns drawn and just mow down anyone who would dare to impugn your spotless reputation. What is your problem now? <gasps> when are you ever going to be held accountable for anything? Dorian, you came here to apologize. Yes. What just happened? Call it temporary insanity. Thank heavens. I've come to my senses. Well, what about Adriana? How's she going to feel about that? She'll understand. Really? From what I know of your daughter, she has a mind of her own. Do not for a second think you're going to co-opt yet another one of my girls. Oh, Dorian, for heaven's sakes, if one of my daughters asked me to put aside my petty animosities and apologize, I would do it in a minute. Of course you would, but then again, you never do anything petty, do you? <sighs> Dorian, come on, let's just do what you came here to do, okay? Please, let's just put all this behind us. Let's do it for Blair or for Adriana. Let's do it for both of our families. Wow, champagne. Let's see, Keisha. Hmm. Being with you. You know, my entire life I've had to worry about where my money's coming from and where it was going. It feels kind of weird not having to do that anymore. Well, you've earned it. I'm sure you're going to put that inheritance to really good use. Fighting RJ for Jamie's only part of it. I want to do other things. I want to make this money stand for something good, something positive. I was hoping that maybe you can help me out with that. Me? Yeah, you. I would be happy to. Great. Here's to you, getting everything that you want. Hey guys. Hi. Hey. Um, have either of you seen Marcy? No. Uh, no. Uh, but you should check with the maitre d'. No, oh, I asked him already. He hasn't seen her. And it's not like her to not show up. He's been pretty upset about Julie Tanaka. What happened to Julie? You didn't hear? Julie was in a car accident last night. Wow, is she okay? I... No. She, uh... She didn't make it. Oh, my God. My God. I'm sorry. I, I thought that everybody knew. No. Listen, um, they were really good friends, so maybe, maybe you should go and find Marcy. Yeah. yeah you're definitely right. Take care, Michael. That's strange. I saw Julie at the park last night. Really? You saw her last night? Yeah. It was kind of strange, actually. She wanted to talk to me about something, but uh, Evangeline called and we didn't get a chance to finish. Evangeline! <laughs> Professor Nolan! <laughs> so glad to see you. Lovely old hotel. Oh, yeah, so the food is wonderful. <laughs> you look great. Me too. Um, the young man that, that's joining us, he's, uh, he's a little bit late, but he'll be here. Don't do this to yourself. I remember when I first saw this black book. I was worried. Can I 
he had this terrible secret and um, he was eating him alive. I knew I shouldn't have read it. I, I just wanted to help. Of course, I, it never occurred to me that he wasn't really Christian. <clears throat> Natalie? He, he said things to me that Christian would have said. He, um... He told me that he loved me all the time. And I, I felt loved. I really did. I mean, Johnny, he looked just like him. He sounded like him. Yes, I am. Um, I just really wanted it to be him, huh? Because nobody comes back from the dead, no matter how much you miss them. So you're gonna do what I asked? You're gonna keep quiet? I'm gonna keep your secret. Now they will find out from me that you're really Christian Vega. You weren't wrong. I have no idea where your mother is, honey. I tried to find her, but my son took the hotline over to the police station. I'm sorry, it's out of my hands. Yeah, see? Told you, he doesn't know anything. So you're saying that Kevin is a liar? Oh, no, no, Kevin... Kevin made a mistake, that's all. Probably just jumped to conclusions, as usual. Now, if you would have gotten a tip on Blair, you would have called me, right? Of course. Hmm. You see, I told you. Ace is just trying to show his family that he can turn over a new leaf. But we're not that different, are we, Ace? <laughs> we do anything we can to keep our family together. He is so right. I'm sorry, Asa. It just wasn't that long ago when you wouldn't let my dad change his name back so that he and my mom could get married. Remember? Well, what I remember is, uh, you stole my gold spur. And it worked, didn't it? I know how you work. I figured that when you found my mom that you would lock her up someplace because you didn't like her. But I guess if you can change, anybody can change, right? Can I get a hug? Well, let's not go that far, kid. What the hell? Put that down. So that's why you two came over here. To snoop, right? Look, Asa, he knows that this is my worst nightmare. That's why he brought me here. But I'm telling you right now, I swear to you, I'm not crazy. I'm as sane as you are. Would you like for Dr. Cornell to prescribe something to help no, you sleep? Hey, listen! Just, just listen to me. Whatever I did to Asa, I really don't deserve this. He has your best interest no, in no, heart. No, 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 he's, no. He's trying to destroy me. Do you understand that? Now, you read the papers, right? My, my fiancé, Todd, he was, he was kidnapped by a real lunatic. Her name was Margaret Cochran, and she, she held him up in a, in a cabin up in the mountain for weeks. You read about that, right? Did you read about that? Let's get you settled in no, for the no, night. No, 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 listen to me. My name is Blair Kramer. I have two children. Their name were Star and Jack Manning, and Todd was, Todd was their father. And it, you can check that out. I swear to you. I swear to you, I'm telling you the truth. And I'm not crazy. I'll see what I can do. Okay. Is there something about Blair? No, no, there's no word yet. You're not going to believe this. My mother is in financial trouble at LU. Yeah, supposedly she wrote a check from the university to the banner. Well, that's got to be some kind of mistake. There's got to be an explanation. Well, there's only one I can think of. 
Dorian. No way. Look, she called off whatever she was scheming anyway. She's going over to Lanfa right now to apologize. Besides, Dorian, this is really beneath you. <sighs> Spoken from on high as usual. My niece, who I love like a daughter, is lost, frightened, maybe dying. And our police commissioner has decided to get on his white horse to defend your honor. And all that you are interested in is having me bow low and apologize to you. Well, Vicky, it isn't gonna happen. I think you should just go. Even if you did embezzle that money? You know I didn't. I say if you have the perfect defense. What? What would that be? Well, you'll simply say, Your Honor, I am innocent. One of my alter personalities just popped out and did that bad, bad thing. That's how you got off scot-free for murdering your father, isn't it? You're gonna be okay? Yeah, I was just thinking about Julie. Do you know her well? I knew her to talk to her. It's just really upsetting. I mean, she was so young and she had her whole life ahead of her. Oh, God, I'm sorry. No. No, are you kidding me? Do you like to leave? No, no, I don't want to leave. I'm glad that you're here. Yeah, me too. So, tell me all your ideas that uh, you're going to do with the money. I'm so sorry about this. You know, John, he really did want to meet you. He must have, I don't know, gotten a break in one of his cases. How does that work? Your detective boyfriend spends his days rounding up criminals, and you spend yours working to set them free. Well, we have butted heads a few times, but we're handling it. Professionally, I have no doubt. It's the personal side of things can get a little thorny in situations like this. Unfortunately, I speak from experience. Good luck, Evangeline. Thank you. You went wrong to think it was Chris. Stop. Okay, I know what you're gonna say. He had everyone else fooled and that I couldn't have known and that I shouldn't blame myself. Well, you know what? It's all a load of bull. I mean, he was my husband. If I didn't know that he was fake, I mean, did I ever really know Chris to begin with? Of course you did. You're just saying that because you feel sorry for me. You know, I'm... I'm happy that man was an imposter because... He was nothing like Chris. He was a murderer. You know, he killed Tico when he was helpless and in a coma, and he wanted to kill Antonio, too, and he tried to kill Antonio, and the real Christian, he, he, he couldn't have done that. So don't tell me that that man is like my husband, because he is nothing like him. Nothing at all. Sometimes people change. Sometimes they're forced to change. Not like this. You know, the only thing that I have left of Christian, my Christian, is all the good memories of what a good and loving, kind, wonderful man that I loved with all my heart. He showed me what love was. He... That was the real Christian. Not that murderer who came into town and... <laughs> I just miss... I just miss having so
Uh, sorry, I didn't know anyone was in here. It's all right. We, uh, we got locked in. Yeah, I was looking for a bubble and the door slammed. Yeah. yeah, I usually prop it open. Uh, your girlfriend's been trying to reach it. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Uh, I had this big meeting tonight with Evangeline's old law professor. I'm sure she'll understand. Would you? <laughs> well, uh, I mean, she, she loves it, John. Um... Look, I'm sorry that I went off on Chris again. Hey. It's okay. You okay? Yeah, you? Yeah. I'm good. Stood up, huh? Yep. No, don't worry about it. You're not the only one. I'm just me up too. Well, misery loves company, right? Yeah, I guess. I'm worried about her, though. You know, I mean, she's going through a tough time. Well, now I know who got the dependable genes in the McBain family. Oh, come on, John. Just got caught up. You know, I pull stuff like that too. Yeah, but I bet you would have made a phone call. I mean, how hard is that? Especially if you knew it was important to me. You know. I guess I shouldn't even be talking to you about this. <clears throat> Are you feeling okay? You know, no, actually. And I can't tell if I'm sick of John or just plain sick. You really have changed, you know? Not really. No, you have, really. You're hopeful. Generous and open. It's been a long time, but it seems like tonight, I don't know, the old Antonio's back. The man I fell in love with. Uh, it's all right, Jay. Answer. Go ahead. Thank you, Asa. Yeah, I mean, you've been great to us, even when we tried to move into your house and steal it away from you. Yeah. <laughs> and that unfortunate incident with your heart medication when you were almost dead on the floor in front of Blair and when she and I tried to make you look crazy and tied you to a tree and <laughs> left you in the woods for dead. Really, you've been great to my mom. Yeah. Really? It's just, we're curious why Kevin would accuse you of keeping her away from us when you've been trying so hard to find her. That's a Buchanan thing, right? We wouldn't understand that. Yeah, I guess we wouldn't. <laughs> Come to think of it, though, he's just not one to let bygones be bygones. I remember what you did to pay back Carlo Hesser. Who's that? You're damn right. You see, nobody buries Asa without getting payback. That's absolutely right. Anyway, thank you. Uh -huh. You did great now, honey. You got our answer. We did? Yeah. Nurse Messner is worried about you. She asked me to check into your story. The confusion about your identity. There is no confusion. My name is Blair Kramer. Your father told us your family history. That your mother and aunt were institutionalized for decades because of mental illness. It, 
That is technically true, but it's... Now, all this might have been triggered by the trauma you suffered, but the genetic predisposition toward your mother's illness has obviously taken hold of you. I'm sure your mother's doctor warned you this might happen one day. Once you accept that, you can begin healing. You're working for him, aren't you? Ace is paying you to keep me here, isn't he? Acute paranoia is one of the symptoms, I'm afraid. We'll do everything we can to help you dispel these delusions. With time and medication, you'll learn that we have your best interests in mind. Be careful. You're becoming too emotionally involved. You can, I swear to God, I'm gonna pay you back for this. I'm gonna pay you back. Hey, sweetie, you don't look so good. Thanks. Just what I need to hear after being stood up. Well, e easy, easy. Fine. Fine. How many of those did you have? Just that one, really. Just the one. Okay, um, you're burning up. Come on, let's go. No, really, I'm fine. No, you're not fine. I'm a doctor. Let's go. Taking you home. Thanks. Can you prescribe something to make me feel better about your brother? Big B. Where? How many hostages? Tell the SWAT to hold off until I get there. I understand, Sergeant. I heard you the first time. I'm on my way. Look, before you say anything, either of you, I know I screwed up, all right? But I have a situation that I have to deal with. I will call you as soon as I can. You look real pretty. here and pretend to be interested in your charitable ideas? I don't think so, buddy. It is time that I have some fun on your dime. doing here at this time of night well, we just heard about these ridiculous charges oh are you all right yes i'm fine i mean it's obviously a misunderstanding you know i'm really sorry thank you thank you kelly you know in the grand scheme of things it's it's only money we certainly have a lot more to worry about than that uh yeah mom the uh, university has the check with your signature on it yeah uh, are you sure you didn't write it uh, honey I'm quite sure well, I did not write that check. Well, how do you think it happened? I have no idea. And frankly, I haven't had a lot of time to go through things, you know, to think about it. Dorian was here when I got the call, and boy, she's on the warpath again. Dorian uh, did stop by? Yeah. Did you know she was coming? Well, I, I thought, I heard that she might. Oh. She came here, she said ostensibly to apologize, but then launched into another one of our diatribes. What? <laughs> what do you think, she was behind this? Right, yeah. 
No, no, no. Just, just hold on. I'm, I'm struggling with the door. Um, no, what I am saying is that, that, that you, were, you were right. Yes. Um, you know, about Vicky being exposed as a, a, a thief and uh, an embezzler. Yes. And hopefully, my dear, she is going to be on her way to jail. Hi, Mom. Hi, sweetheart. So I'll see you when I see you, huh? Hurry up. <laughs> Bye. You know, I really thought after our talk that you were going to go and apologize to Mrs. Davidson, but the whole time, you're just cooking up another scheme to send her to jail. Oh, no, 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 no. I was going to apologize. In fact, I went over there, but I didn't get a chance to, and, well, actually, I'm rather glad that I didn't. Because if Vicki Davidson and the Buchanans aren't stopped, they're going to destroy our family. That's crazy. Yeah? Well, you tell me about Kevin Buchanan and what he has done to, to Kelly. And before that, to your half-sister, Cassie. Just think about Blair out there fighting for her life and all because of Todd. You think about that, my dear, and then you tell me I'm wrong. What the hell are you thinking, telling my grandson that there was no board meeting? I know there wasn't. That's not the point. Look, you play dumb about anything unless you check with me. What the hell? Where's Blair? Answering Evangeline's phone. She doesn't want to be disturbed right now. Where is she? She's in bed. And I put her there. Okay, Mike, what's going on? I stole your girlfriend, and the two of us are gonna have a wild night in her bedroom. So deal with it, sucker. <laughs> <laughs> serious you think dorian set me up well she's been on the warpath ever since she was fired from the hospital you know she uh she published that picture of you and one of your students in the sun it looks to me like she's trying to get the the university to fire you kelly what about you i mean with everything that's going on with blair now do you really think that she would do that well adriana heard her planning something maybe this is what that was. My, my, my. Well, if Dorian thinks I'm gonna take this lying down, she is very much mistaken. You know, I am tired of hearing about all the terrible things the Buchanans have done to us. This feud is never going to end, is it? When something or someone threatens the people you love, then you have to defend them. So that's what you think you're doing? You're defending us? Absolutely. I've always had to be the strong one in my family. I used to take care of my sisters. Now I take care of my sister's children. And along the way, yes, sometimes I had to sacrifice things that were very important to me. People that were very important to me. But I do not regret it. Because I know in my heart, I was just trying to take care of you all. And now that we are all together, I am not going to let anything or anyone get between us. Do you understand? Especially not Vicky or the Buchanans. So, whatever you do, it's okay because it's all about family and sacrifice. What about dumping me with people that weren't even my parents? What about leaving me with two strangers in Puerto Rico and never coming back? You can talk to me all you want about keeping the family together, but it needs absolutely nothing to me. Oh, 
you've come back to help me, right? I mean, here's what I want you to do. I want you to call my Aunt Dorian. She lives in Lambview, Pennsylvania. Her name is Dorian Lord, okay? Things are gonna be all right. So you're gonna help me? Of course I'm gonna help you. We're gonna make sure you feel all better. I don't know where she is. To hell you don't. And if you don't tell me where she is right now, I swear to God I'm gonna kill you. Stay tuned for scenes from the next One Life to Live. On the next One Life to Live. Here's your fella. He ain't my fella. I want another search of Jen's apartment now. I'm gonna get out of here and you can't stop me. You tell me where Blair is and I won't blow your brains out. You're bluffing. Try me.